They say your they say your hair look like the blue eyed dragon. Damn, my mother look like that. Blue eyed white dragon off of you. I got my hair in any of these hoes. Most of these hoes in the comments anyway. Y'all over here, ball hitting this fuck. Like, what are you talking about, bitch? Y'all over here talking shit. Like, I'm, I'm, I literally gave Sierra Lee a nigga ball hitting this fuck. Like, what are you talking about, bitch? I'm, I'm, I literally got niggas literally be having my hair to half of these bitches. No shade. Let's talk about it. But anyway, um. Like I said, she could never come up. What I'm, do what I'm doing, she could never, ever in a million years do. That's just one thing, and that's come up. Hello, hello. Tell her to come up. Tell her to come up. So let me see what she's giving us up, man. And let me, and, and, and let me see how many inches you working with. Like, girl, how many inches do you think your hair, hair is? It's like my hair is shitting on their asses. My shit, I have way more hair than any average bitch. Like, come on now, stop. Some of these whole hair can't even How many inches? Bro, how many inches do you guess, think you got on your hair? No, they're mad because they see that my hair is growing. Because at first it was like, oh, let's keep that, let's keep that. But they're upset because my shit is literally increasing, really like progressing on their asses. And now they're gagging. Now it's, oh, the hair is too thin. Oh, it's not her real hair. Or it's. An uh, issue with the hair, like, it's never a uh, good moment with these motherfuckers. That's why they mad, because they bald-headed, and I'm not. I'm able to I'm able to come up and camp up and really give them the real deal and not have to have myself and not have to be insecure about my hair. At the end of the day, I'm still fucking your husband. I'm still fucking your grandpa, nephew, cousins, and all. Like, I'm doing everybody, so I don't care. Bitch. <laughs> Hey, well, so how many inches do you think your hair is? Um, let me see. This is about a, a cute six right here. This is about a cute six. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Good morning. So, when they could step, they, when they could step there, uh, but man, naturally, but at the end of the day, they have to understand, men aren't supposed to have hair for real. That's not the men's job, is to have hair. That's not their job. Men Why is it not? Why is it upset. not? No, some of the girls upset, they like, damn, how do the boys get to outdo us? Because, bitch, it's more so like, bitch, you bitches put all that stuff in y'all hair and all that perm and stuff. That's why the men's hair gonna look, always look longer than the girl's hair. Because men don't do all that perm and all that glue in and all that extra shit. So our hair is gonna naturally grow if we choose for that Some to happen. Do the glue all that, that's why most of these girls, they can't. I know, I know one person that do a glue in. He, he get his shit, he get all this, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. cut off and then he get a glue in. You know him too. Who? Oh. You know him? What's your boyfriend? Brandon. Yeah. Brandon ain't never did no shit like that ever. I ain't never seen Brandon motherfucking fake his motherfucking uh shit like that. I ain't never seen him do that. Brandon ain't never been like that. Bro. All I'm saying is how your hairline go from here one day to mm. up here the next day. Well, and that's probably from, I mean, my hairline, bitch, my hairline does the same. You, yeah. listen, when you first seen him, his hairline was more back here, right? When you mm. first seen him, his hairline was more back here. Mm. How do your hairline from back here migrate to here? That's probably because that's the Beijing, maybe something, else, but it don't matter, but he, I, I've never seen that from my understanding. I've never seen no photos, no no lives. I've never seen nothing of him having that. Or the line being far or this way or that way. I've never seen it. Man, let me go find this picture. Though. Like, he's fine. It's funny. Because, first of all, my husband, I got a picture of my, you know, I keep an image of my husband. Up in this motherfucker. It says Jada way to follow you on TikTok. <laughs> First of all, look at my husband. Do you not understand the assignment? 
Bitch, my husband have always and forever been the mother go, oh, he's so sad. Sexy as you want to be. You sexy as than any man that I have ever seen. <laughs> like, it's nothing wrong, like, with the motherfucking hairline. It's, I could see it. Through the what? Did that, I no. could see the hairline. No. I could see the man's stuff right there. Ain't nothing wrong with his stuff. He's fine as fuck, though. Oh, you don't say that. You can't tell me he ain't fine. Y'all, are you serious? <laughs> He is fine, like, I wouldn't let him, that's why they can't, baby, he had ain't baby girl pussy out, cause he look like he know how to eat real good pussy. I will give him that. That's why she was acting a fool over that dick. She like, Brenda, ain't he out so good? And he better not do it again, bitch. Or I'm whooping your ass, ho. Um, but yeah, it's my husband, is, you know, he eats the, eats these broke niggas. He's really about what he said that he's about, bitch, okay? Brandon used to go around this motherfucker and keep John Bunny bow down and, 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 and kiss his daddy feet and understand who broke him. So, what's that up? Well, I would be messy and show this picture. I'm going to get banned if I show that picture. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, they're going to report it, man. They can never take me. They can keep it on. Fuck you. He's be on this app all day talking shit and don't nobody be checking that. He's gonna take his ass to a goddamn rehab and figure out why he's on drugs. Girl. I'm about sharing around her family and figure out where her blood's at because she's she a couch potato. That's all she do is sit on that couch all day and talk shit all day about nothing. Over there calling CPS on people, calling everybody mama. No, call your son. Call Nunu and figure out where she at. Call your mama. Check in with your grandma. Check in with the people of the people. Okay? Because right now, you're calling the wrong people. Let me see. Who is that? My husband? No. First of all, that's from back in the day. That could never, you know, amount. Look look, look at where his hairline is. Uh -huh. All right, now look at the main one. Now, hold on, hold on. I just want to know how your hairline go from there. Uh-huh. What's the, I don't see no differentiate. Like, I really, let me see. Nah, where that picture at? I just had it. Let me see. No! I want to, hold on. No, it's hold been on. the same. Hold on, hold on. What's no, we look here? Bro. As we look here. As we look uh, here. Uh, okay. Look, look there. All right. Okay. Okay. Look here. Okay. You see the okay. space? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. I see it. Yes. It's the last for me. God humbled you. God stopping that. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I told y'all. I rebuke that motherfucker. I rebuke that motherfucker, bitch. Bitch, that's the spirit telling y'all. My husband is all fine, y'all. Okay, see, my, when I was doing it, it didn't do all that for me. So, that's just letting me know, bitch, that my shit is accurate. He's lying. That's God coming upon him. None of him know that, bitch, you owe him a chaplain on this man's name. About his hairline, bitch. Ain't shit wrong with his hairline. His hairline is good. That went from the early fucking, uh, that got that one back in 1998. Sit down with that. We're looking at something more current. Everybody can have some bald headed head. I mean, <laughs> everybody has some bald headed whole shit going on growing up. So, I went bald head too. I already told y'all, bitch. Bitch, I literally went through high school with no edges, bitch. I didn't even have this. I didn't have, bitch, I went through high school literally bald-headed like this, bitch. So, bitch, people change. Time change, girl. So, please don't, you know, get it misconstrued. Joe, somebody must have, that's the, I told you, that's the, that's the devil. I mean, that's the guy coming upon that motherfucker. Let me see. We still got, uh... Hold on. Because I thought I had me another one. I'm not bald here, but I got more hair than your goddamn mama, and I got more hair than your pussy, bitch. Wake it up. I got more hair than all you motherfuckers understand that. And understand that I get more hair than the goddamn pigtail. 
you know, I'll get my, that's the only picture I got about her, that's the, that's the only picture I got, I get more hands than all these motherfuckers, I'm, I'm ready to go, hello, please, I'm not trying to, like, keep that on my time, like, I really don't, yeah, niggas, for the niggas, bitch, my husband Brandon could never be out here like that, he got way too much money to be playing with y'all, do you not know that he has literally almost 500, over 500,000 dollars, a half a million in his account? He already proven that to the people. So shout out to shout out to Brandon Keys for that. Let me see. Until y'all come back, let me talk my shit. Oh, y'all, we we were supposed to have did the motherfucking school, y'all. Why we ain't do the school? Cause that could joke call, and I totally forgot about that shit. I was gonna fuck. I'm definitely running up. Let me see. What about people? I'm gonna talk about it. They saying something about she uh. They said, since y'all been looking for content, and, um, then her career is over with. <laughs> We're gonna wait until, <clears throat> I don't know if he's gonna come back or not, but. I'm gonna assume somebody called, maybe it was a family emergency, I don't know. He said, man, cause I know when my nigga be calling, take this out, uh, take this out, I don't need this bitch. I know when my nigga be calling me, I never answer the phone, like, in the, like when I'm on live. I'm not gonna answer the call at all. I'm just gonna literally talk my shit. Look at my, see, this could've ain't if I really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dash my shit out tomorrow. I'm gonna really do my big one. If y'all not already following my social media, go ahead and follow that. Because, we know, we know, we're doing a B.I.G. over there. On all, on all platforms, make sure y'all get there. Because I only come on every other day. Being that my schedule is so, you know, all over the place. And, bitch, this whole week, I've been literally working on my birthday. This whole week. So, this birthday weekend that I'm going to have, it's going to be late. This weekend gonna be there too. It's gonna be hot as fuck this weekend. Hot. All, all the holes, all the trays, all the bottles, and sh- girl, they gonna be out, bitch. So, girl, it's gonna be down a hundred degree uh Saturday, bitch. Everybody, their mama going out there. So I will be, you know, snapping out, making my coins, my rent. You know what I'm saying? I'm just upset that on my birthday it's gonna be fucking fifty eight degrees. Like the fuck I'm gonna do with that? But no, my stuff is inside, so I don't really care. Um, my stuff is really inside. So y'all have to understand, y'all have to really bear with me this month. So we're going to be in and out with the one two. <laughs> we're going to be in and out with the one two. Do y'all want to do matches or y'all want to talk some shit? What y'all want to do? Because I don't know what y'all want. Because I don't give a fuck. Girl, I don't care about what's happening here. Which one y'all wanna do? I ain't reaching shit, but I'm reaching for a motherfucking bed. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> I'm reaching for a bed, y'all. You talk reaching for cocaine and drugs and shit. Bitch. I'm really out here trying to get my get my name across Chicago, Illinois. Fuck, uh, fuck, um, Bigo. Bitch, I'm trying to get my name out there. But not afraid of. We must um promote that birthday all this week in my platform. So make sure y'all follow all my platform, cause for real, y'all, we need to run that up. Cause we have to start growing from here. My platform is growing tremendously on uh, all platforms. The only platform that's not growing right now is uh, YouTube. That's because I'm not really uh, posting nothing right there right now. Maybe, you know, once I drop my videos and shit like that, I'll post more over there. But as far as my Instagram, my TikTok is booming over there. So make sure y'all run that up. We got content on and off Bigo. We don't have content just off Bigo. Um, we don't have content just on, I mean, on Bigo. We have content off Bigo as well. Unlike some of the other hoes on here who have no content at all whatsoever, they are more in the slumps. You know, they don't have nothing to do but talk shit all day, read bitches all day. Um, she have nothing going for herself at all whatsoever, never have. Uh, on drug, their mother abandoned them, abused them. They never had tough love. You know, they was always uh, told that they were gonna forever be alone. And now they they lonely with no nothing, nobody. They don't want they, they don't want their kid, their husband don't want them. 
Nobody wants them. It's like if your husband don't want you, your man ain't around you, and you can't, you got all this stuff going on, and not even your man is in your corner supporting your fuck ass. Oh, baby, that mean that household is upside down, bitch. That need to be fixed. Huh? <laughs> you need to fix your household, bitch. Why you all here talking all this shit? Fix what's going on in your house. Let me see. Um, fix your household. Because you, a lot of these told is really all here. Homeless as fuck, poor as hell. Nothing, um, going on. Just on some same shit and all that. Let me see. They said that right now, the hot sauce is that they're saying that all of a sudden now, because I'm so sick and tired of hearing her motherfucking name. I'm tired of seeing her face. I'm just tired of it. You know, it's, it, it it's annoying to the courthouse, you know, already. Um, but they're saying that you no know, dash and, Ro- and um, Royce got into it over Breon. First of all, Breon is a bum. I want to start off by saying that. Second off, they said that she know how to eat the pussy and she know how to go down on a girl and that she's good at her sex and what she do. So that's why they fighting over her. Um, but you have to understand that. Breon and Ro went through hell and back struggles, got stopped. I'm talking about they went through a lot. So, of course, Breon know what, where her home is at. But at the same time, No Dash also is a bum, too. You got to be mindful. No Dash has one out for her arrest, okay? No Dash, her credit score is below 400, okay? No, no Dash could never get anything in her name. No Dash could never have anything of her own. Okay, so I just want to throw that out there. She she has one and that she she's on probation right now, so she can't be out here fucking up, acting up, juking it up, or pressing no charges and doing all that extra shit. She's on um, probation right now, so there's no getting off of that, and that's only because of Empress. If I was her, I would stay far away from Empress and Royce and all of that because you knew what happened last time. In fact, Royce already said that she was going to go ahead and send that over to her mama now, and then we're going to take care of that and send her on back where she belongs to, to, the, to the jail cell, back over there. 